Sweetheart, I, I should have known you would have been home. Oh, where else would I be? And where have you been? The lies just roll right off your tongue. Well, believe it or not, the Crane Mansion. Oh, for heaven's sake, Cece, why would you go there? You hate being anywhere near the Crane Mansion. <sighs> Sweetheart, I really hate to tell you this, but... Hank saw your car speeding onto the crane grounds, and I thought that you went there without telling me. I don't understand. Well, it doesn't matter, because Whitney borrowed your car. She went up there to see Chad, because Chad is visiting Ethan. And, honey, I owe you a huge apology. Oh, for what, DC? Because I thought it was you up there. I thought you were there. <laughs> but I know you better than that. You would never do that. I'm just so mad that Whitney hasn't come to her senses. Please don't be mad at her, TC. Why not, honey? <sighs> come on, I mean, hasn't she learned her lesson yet about Chad? I mean, up there in L.A., I mean, now she's giving this boy a second chance. Well, let's not talk about that tonight, honey. We're, we're gonna go out on our dinner date. I mean, we can still do that, right? <sighs> yeah, <gasps> sure, let's... Yeah. Okay, so... Where'd you make reservations? You know what? I got a better plan. How about if we stay home, I make you a home-cooked meal. Pasta primavera. What do you think? Great. Yeah, that's great. Sweetheart, who is it? You seem upset. Do tell, Eve. Is there a problem? It's the hospital. They need to ask me a couple of questions about a, a patient that I was treating. Oh, I'll just go ahead and start dinner while you're on with them. Liz, uh, can I speak to you for a moment in the kitchen? Uh, sh sure. You know, um, TC, it seems like you're very busy. Why don't um, we talk tomorrow? No, because I want to get this over with before the day is done. TC, now, if this is about earlier, Chen, Liz, I, will I you just stop that... it, please, okay? I am trying to help you, No, TC. you're not. You're trying to cast doubt on my wife's fidelity, and I don't appreciate it. Now, I know you felt that I led you on, but I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I want you to stop this. I want you to back off from me once and for all. Do I make myself clear? What is going on with you two? Eve is stressing about Whitney. Well, that makes two of us. The idea of her taking your car, going up to the Crane Mansion to be with that two-bit punk. <sighs> you know, sweetheart, we need to talk to her together about uh, this. Uh, TC, that's really not what I meant. I, I couldn't I... agree with you more, TC. Well, we're not going to do it tonight, okay? You are doing exactly what you told me not to do. We're stressing over Whitney and Chad. Now, tonight, we should be concentrating on a very nice, quiet evening together. We'll talk about all this stuff tomorrow. The dinner's gonna be ready soon. And Liz, you have to excuse me, but we didn't include you. Oh, we no. No. Don't worry about me, TC. I'll just stay. Keep Eve company while you're finishing up. And then I'll head up to the apartment. I have a frozen dinner I can nuke in the microwave. Well, next time we'll all eat together. 